All right, number 11. Uh, we have the table uh, shown list trees that are in two city parks. Uh, R is going to be the set of trees in Riverside Park. S is the set of trees in Sleepy Hollow Park. We want to find the following set. So I want to find the following set. R minus S. Okay, so I'm going to show this with a Venn diagram. So I think I've shown it before with listing the elements and then taking away what they have in common. I want to show it with the diagram this time. So given a Venn diagram, okay, you could easily see uh, what is R minus S. <clears throat> so first, whenever you draw these, you always start with the middle, what they have in common. All right, so Riverside has W for Willow, and I also see a W in uh, the Sleepy Hollow Park. And then we have C for Cherry, and I also see a C in the Sleepy Hollow Park. And then we have D for Dogwood. I do not see Dogwood, so I'm going to put D over here in the bigger part of um, Riverside and then we have E for M and I do see E in both and then last we have Maple and Maple is only in R. Alright so uh, the elements of S that are not contained in Riverside uh, we have the M, we don't have B for Birch and then we don't have S for Sycamore Okay, so this is how the Venn diagram would look. R take away S. So the whole set R would be this whole circle. Right here, that's everything that is in S. Every letter, there's five of them. That's all the trees. So when we do R take away S, that means we're just getting rid of the part right here that is in um, S. So we're left with, let me darken it. We're left with this bolder part of the circle. Okay. We just take away the overlap. So R take away S is going to be the set consisting of D and M alone. Okay, so our set R minus S is D M. Make sure you separate them with a comma. Alright, number 12 we're going to be doing the cross product so with 12 we're given a set A is equal to B A T that and then set B is equal to A N T ant Said whose letters A and T. Okay, so uh, this is not um, A times B. We, we call it A cross B. And we're going to be pairing elements from A with elements from B. Uh, the method to the madness is to start with B and then pair it with every element. The first element in A, which is B, you pair it with every element in the set B. And then you go with the second element in, element in A, and you pair it with every element in B. And you go with the last element in A, and you pair it with every element in B. These are going to be ordered pairs, okay? Um, it's going to be a big set. So take your time and make sure you do it correctly. Um, since A is first, every ordered pair should start with the element from A first. So, ordered pairs. Starting with B, I'm going to have B paired with A. And then I'm going to have B paired with N. And then I'm going to have B paired with T. Okay, so that's all the pairs starting with B. We're going to do the same thing with A and T. So the second letters will stay the same. So starting with A, we will have A, A. We will then have A, N. And finally with A, we will have A, T. 
Okay, so that's each of them A A A N A T, and then we're gonna have T A T N T T. T A T N and then T T and then close bracket. <clears throat> so we're going to list these um, and that will give us A cross B and then we'll do B cross A. So we're going to have B A and then B N and you have to be careful to put a comma between each letter and a comma between each set of parentheses. B T and then we're going to have A A we'll have A and it is case sensitive I believe capital will uh, be counted incorrect so I gotta be careful there and then we have A T and then we shift over to T a forgot the comma there T N and then T T okay so um, be careful if you change the order uh, it will count it incorrect and you will not know exactly what is incorrect so right now I think I have everything uh, in as I have it listed um, it's always good to double check. It's easy to miss a comma, uh, miss place a letter. Um, so everything looks good. But I'm going to show you just in case you make a mistake. Right now this is TA. I'm going to change it to AT. I'm going to switch the order around. Okay, so that's the third to the last one. I switched it to AT. When I check, it will tell me it's incorrect. And it just gives you the explanation. It doesn't tell you what is incorrect. So everything else was right except for this one I switched. I got double AT. AT is an element, but this one should be TA. So now when I switch it back, TA, um, it should give me a green check. And so be very careful when you input it uh, because you can do a lot of work and do everything right, but just miss one letter and uh, it looks wrong. All right, and then the last part we're going to do B cross A. So now um, the order pairs would start with the letter from B, the order pairs. And so I will have A, B, A, 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 T. A, B. A, A. And then A, T. And I will do the same thing. So I'll have N B N A N T. N A. And then N T. And then we'll have T B T A T T. Okay, so we'll list these and then that will finish this problem out. <clears throat> so A, B, A, 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 T, N, B, N, A, And then N T keep one in the space, don't need it. Um T B T A. Now this last one I'm gonna leave the comma out. T 
to you just to kind of show you how sensitive this setting is. So if you look very closely, I have each ordered pair separated with a comma between the parentheses groups except for this last one and I think it's going to count that wrong but I just want to show you you need to be very careful when you input it okay and it doesn't tell you uh, what what's missing so you have to be very careful and have a close eye when you do these things now it should be okay